and welcome to PE at Home brought to you by LSD. My name's Becky and today we're doing lesson 3 on Invasion Games with PE Stage 2. So by the end of today we should be able to change direction to create space, demonstrate a level of control and manipulation of the ball in order to, to get a specific outcome. We can get that out. And number two, strive to improve and be able to self-reflect. So think about your own uh, performance and how you can improve on that. Equipment-wise, I'm using three footballs, a hoop, and cones and markers. At home, you could use anything to, to set up an area out, uh, any form of ball, and just general household equipment like books, jumpers, cushions, anything that you have. Feel free to video yourself. We'd love to see you having a go on our social media. And let's get going. Have fun. Okay, Carl, so this is our warm-up. This is our corridor across the blue cone. Your job is to, with as many touches as you can, can you dribble that ball through up to the end of the corridor without touching any of these objects, okay? So your focus is as many touches as you can. Off you go. We'll watch all the objects, that's it. Keep your head up and have a look for that today. Like it, well done. Okay, how did that feel? It felt good, it felt like getting loads of touches on the ball um, and it didn't feel any pressure. Right. Okay, what did you have to think about with your body? Um, I had to think about trying to keep the ball really close to me. Brilliant. Um, but also, as well, be aware of where the cones are on the floor so no um, need to twist or turn. Excellent, so you got your head up looking out all the time. What was that key word that I said? Hello. What are you looking for? The space. Space. Well done. Okay, let's give it another go. As many touches close to your body like you said, looking out for that space, heads up. Don't bump into any objects. Keep going. Super. So, how do you think you could get more touches? Think about what part of your feet you're using. Change that direction. Uh, so rather than using the inside. Uh, use me outside, uh, use me, my soul to move the ball. Okay, let's give that a go then. How many objects can you get through without bumping into them? Off you go. I need more objects, more touches. Love it, well done. Keep it up, keep it up. Super. Okay, Carl, you give it another go. So boys and girls, for so this warm up I want you to get as many touches as you can on that ball. Think about using all the different parts of your feet, making sure not to bump into any objects. Off you go and come back to us when you're finished. Okay, superb start Cal. So this time I want you to make your way through to the top, just as you have done as many touches as you can. But this time on your way back, can you collect each item? Okay, so one item at a time, collecting in your hoop, work it out as you want to, off you go. We're focusing on that touches, but on your way back, focus on collecting those items one at a time. Quickly as you can, still keeping that control, let's go. Nice, well done. Keep going. We get a little bit faster. Think about that turn at the top. Using all the different parts of your feet. Superb. Keep going, keep going. So for this part, boys and girls, rather than just dribbling through looking for that space, we're now focusing on our item. Keep your head up. Make sure that your body is right close to that ball, keeping that control all the time. Use any order that you want, but collect all those items as quickly as you can. Give it a go. Superb, Carl. Well done. So now for this last one for our warm-up, what we're going to do, same again, dribble up without touching any objects. And to get to the top, on your way back, you're now going to collect in some form of order. So for today, we'll do coloured order. So for example, if I got up to the top, I'd then choose the tall cones. I would collect them all my way back, dribbling that ball still, all in one back to your hoop. All at the same time. All at the same time, okay? 
So you choose your order. When you're ready, let's dribble, dribble, dribble. Lots of touches. Off you go, quickly. Thinking about as many touches as you can. Well done. Head up for that next cone. Don't be falling over. Whoa. Butter fingers here. So you play back of your cone, up to the top, and select your next colour code. Touches, touches, off you go. Nice drag back, well done. Like it, using all those different areas of your feet. Well done, keep going. So for this last one with our warm-up, it's really focusing on getting that head up, looking back, making sure that you've got your order in your head, forward thinking, okay? So pick up those colours, give it a go, many touches, let's get going. Okay, now we're all warmed up. This is our first drill, weave and control. So first off, red cones. I'm going to tap this ball off, weave in and out of the red cones and collect the, the ball at the top. Carrying that ball then, weaving back through the start position. Okay, balancing it on the cone, you then move on with the ball at your feet to the yellow weave. Up to the top, back down as quickly as you can. Does that make sense? So I'm dribbling this ball so dribbling to up to that ball. Yep. Through and back with a ball in my hand. Balancing it on that cone and then continue with your dribbling ball at your feet through the yellow and back down. I balance it on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That clear? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Come on, let's see how you do. Go, go, go. Many such as you can, thinking about what our warm-up was based on. Superb. You're balancing it on your red cone. And then moving on to your yellow. Superb. Looking at the different spaces now. Quickly, you can. Come on, come on. And stop there. How did that... Oh! How did that feel? It felt... Um, tricky because I had to think about having a ball in my hand but also I had to coordinate the ball on the floor with my feet. Um, so, yeah, it was a good challenge. Good challenge. Excellent. So you're getting that coordination out now. What was different with your red to your yellow? Thinking about the space and the touches that you could get. Uh, the, the red one I'm dribbling more straight, so it was keeping the ball more or less in front. Yep. The yellow ones I had to weave side to side and have to think about maybe different turns and twists to get around the cone to bring the ball back. So Tim, how did you get those different turns and twists? Using what? Uh, oh, using my using feet, but uh, using different parts of the, of the foot to obviously turn and twist my hips. Excellent! Okay, let me find your toes. So this time we're going to do as quick as we can, and then we're going to time them to see if you can get even quicker. But let's just have another crack. Off you go. Hold on, bring it up. Using both feet, I like it, well done. Balancing and off the hill, quick, quick, quick. You're balancing still. Doing really well, keep going. Okay, we do it another the go, pal. Ready for your timing. Yes. So for this first girl, boys and girls, it's all about really keeping that ball close, focusing on your control. So your head's up, the ball close to your body, and you're manipulating that ball where you want it to go. Remember, you're in control. Give it a go and come back to us. Okay, superb, Carl. So this time I'm going to give it another go, but I really want you to think about how your touches change with the different spaces. Okay, just keep that in your mind while you're doing it, we'll come back to it once you've finished. Ready? Quickly as you can, off you go. Think about how that feels now that you're on the ball. Once you've balanced, moving on to the yellow. And again, keep that question in your head. How does this feel? What's different? Well done, good control, keep it up. Back down you come. Oops. Superb. Okay, so think about that question. Can you give me an answer? What's different in the way that you felt and manipulated the ball from red to yellow? It felt easier. Red one. Uh, 
because I didn't necessarily have to think about any direction it was got just the fact that I was just trying to keep it in a straight line around the red. Okay. But when I got the yellow, I felt like I had to think about what the next touch was going to be more because of not only the, the way in dribbling but the change of direction, the change of turn. Um, try and get away as well. Okay, in relation to your body, did the ball change at all from red to yellow? Uh, Where the ball was to your body? Uh, yeah, I felt like when it was in red it was a lot closer to me and I was more on top of it. Whereas okay. in yellow it felt as though it could get away from me a bit more. Uh, so that means I had to sort of maybe speed up or make the touch a bit tighter. Or even just consider the way that I turn which part of the foot I might use and how I position my body to try to stay over the ball. Brilliant, lots of good points there. So the distance is different, the space that you can invade is different and your touches with your body in relation to the ball is also different, that's superb. So this time we're going to focus on speed. As I said, I'm going to time you. Are you ready? Feeling the pressure? Round one, go! Still focusing on what we need to, making sure that control and manipulation is maintained. Well done. Get to yellow, go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop you up by the next round. Keep going. Stop. Superb. Okay, you got 39 seconds there, pal. So this time, round two, can we beat it? Control the ball, come on, off we go, ready, go! Think about those touches, think about part your foot, invade that space, go, go, go! Well done, Get on it balance that time. Well done, superb control. Stop. Oh, you beat it, well done. Okay, I'll tell you up for a third go. Catch your breath. When you're ready, Kyle, off you go. So this time, boys and girls, add that speed, add that challenge. Think about in a game situation, you want to close down that space quickly, but maintaining that control. Thinking about those turns, think about your body. Give it a go and come back to us. boys and girls so for this one remember you've got an opponent as well think about who else is on the pitch what you've got to look up for keeping that head up making sure you're invading that space as quickly as you can collecting your crowns and go and beat your opponent give it a go okay super pal. so this is our last game called treasure chest okay so imagine all these yellow cones are pieces of treasure you want all five okay I'm the defender. Your job is to dribble, try and get past me, collect one of my treasure chest uh, pieces and take it back to your 
cones, okay? If I tag you, I have to go to the orange cone to restart. You just have to go back through the red and we go again. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Give it yeah. a go. Yeah. Three, two, one, off you go. You think about how to get past me. Well done. One collective. Can you get another off you go? Okay, tag. I've got another back. Can you get past it? Oh! Did you the touch? Well done. Okay. Think about how you're going to get past the wall done. Good touches. Last two. Oh, <laughs> you ran into me then. Head up, remember, looking for that space. Use your touches. Change your pace. boys and girls just about beating your opponent change that pace think about your touches look up for that space and really exploit them Off you go. thank you so much for joining us today boys and girls really hope that you've enjoyed it so again that was lesson three on invasion games two stage two we should have been able to change direction just to create that speed really invade that space uh, demonstrate a lot of control and manipulation on the ball so you decide where that ball goes and how do you use your feet and think forward of how to make that happen and also thinking about how to improve your own performance so can you beat it, can you beat it, can you do better excellent, thank you very much, really want to see you having a go so feel free to upload your videos and pictures to our social media and also maybe drop a comment on the bottom of this video to see how you felt uh, see you next time, hope you enjoyed it, bye <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we are using that exact audio.